What's up, guys? Today, we're talking about the new live event that got confirmed for Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 3. As you can obviously see to my right, we got a big countdown over there. Ship starting to glow. Um, the pipeline in front of me is completed. That's got a lot to do with the event, so let's get into it. Okay, so a little bit of a like a story explained kind of thing, and I'm actually shocked that I'm the one explaining it because I've not kept up with whatever storyline it is at all this season. But the pipeline that I just showed you is completed, right? This is supposed to give the giant ship Nitro to fuel it enough so that it can literally chomp through the map. So the big guy, the big villain guy over here wants that to be fueled up with Nitro. As you can see, it's finished. And uh, he wants to chop the map in half, apparently. So that's what he's got going on, okay? The other characters, the good characters like Jones and Hope, they obviously don't want this to happen. Now, I'm going to get into some event spoilers. So if you don't want any event spoilers, click off. But if you don't really care, then uh, keep watching. Okay, so in the event, Magneto shows up because there's, you know, NPC dialogue after the event that point to Magneto uh, joining the event because they say that he shows up. What is this guy doing? This is a bot, dude. Okay, as I was saying, Magneto does show up in the event. Now, we know that the rig is supposed to explode. This got leaked a little bit. There's pictures of it all around. Um, the rig's supposed to explode. What does that look like it is entirely made out of? Metal. What does Magneto literally control? Metal. So you can kind of piece it together. Magneto's going to be on our side, and I'm pretty sure he's going to blow up the rig before it can get Nitro to the ship. Now, this entire pipeline right here that goes all the way over to the to the giant ship is going to explode. This spot is going to have a crater in it. There's going to be a huge crater at the rig, and there's going to be a huge crater all the way leading over to Brutal Beachhead. Now, underneath the crater that will form at the rig, which will be the biggest one, will be the return of Pandora's box that we've seen in the recent seasons. It will be revealed to have been underneath there the entire time. So it seems like the nitro is actually coming from the box and they've been like harvesting it or whatever. Looks like the, It looks like the nitro was what was inside the box. Now, I'm pretty sure in the event, it will be revealed that the Wanderer is actually Doctor Doom. Some people don't really like this. They kind of wanted to be an original character. But it does tie in to the new season, so I kind of dig it. And plus, it's Doctor Doom. He's awesome. He's insane. Also, this gives us another big bad, you know, for the final season to close out the chapter. So it will be revealed that Doctor Doom is actually using the box's power um, to literally rewrite the stars. And we have to try and stop him from doing that in season four. So it's actually quite it's it's a decent build up to season 4 which i actually like um it's going to be us and a couple of reinforcements that magneto is going to be calling and i'm guessing the reinforcements are going to be marvel characters that we'll get in the battle pass so that's pretty cool now we know it's probably not going to be an entire marvel battle pass so get your predictions in it's a great lead in to the new season um the event is supposed to be full length i think i think it's not supposed to be a mini event i genuinely think it's supposed to be like a full-size event once again. We haven't had one of those in forever, like two years. So yeah, that's everything we know so far about the event. That's everything we know that is going to happen. Apparently, there's going to be like a lot of explosions. Um, I'm hoping that we get some dialogue from Magneto. And I, I hope he's kind of going to be like Iron Man in Chapter 2, where he came over to us, talked to us, and said this is how we got to stop them. Um, I wonder if we'll play a part in destroying the pipeline. That would be pretty cool. That would that would immerse us and help it feel like a... Uh, it, would, it would help make it feel like an actual event. By the way, this has completely, I think, revived the storyline that we've been missing for the last two seasons, even all of Chapter 4. Um, I'm really hoping that this event can be crazy. We have literally two and a half days, if not two days, already. I'm hoping it's going to be amazing. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. Get your predictions in. Let me know if you're hyped. Bro, I'm at, yo, maybe I gotta be playing at 3 a.m. more often. I have 10 ping, and my FPS hasn't dropped yet. I mean, this is like my peak Fortnite experience. If you guys ask, like, what my ping and my FPS is normally on, it's this. It's almost 200 FPS. That's what my PC can run. Um, and it's barely any ping. 
So it's crazy when I go into reload. It's crazy what the difference is, bro. I'm on like like 70 ping and like 50 FPS. It's it's a shame. Oh, I'm not about to get fucking double teamed, bro. Yeah, I'm actually gonna get double teamed. That's fucking crazy. I'm actually for real getting double. I'm getting triple teamed. All right, well, you guys see why I don't play regular Fortnite anymore, but that is all we know for the event so far. Um, There's a couple other things, but I basically summed it up pretty well. Let me know if you guys uh, are hyped for the event. Seems like most of you are from a recent poll I put out. Um, use code LeoJess, like the stream as usual, and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one.